I wish to welcome the president of the Police Social and Welfare Association, Mr. Seals, and the secretary, Mr. My, Mr. <laughs> Ramasa. <laughs> Uh, and they, they will now um, co commence the, this part of the media conference. I will try to start with Mr. Ramasa. Mr. Ramasa. Mr. Ramasa. Mr. Thank, thank you, Commissioner, for inviting myself and the President to this, con to this con conference. Um, as you know, Carnival is a, period, is a period where sometimes you do incur challenges in relation to turnout by police officers. And we wish to reassure the membership that the association has met with the Commissioner of Police and that we are urging every member to make every effort to attend. As the Commissioner has mentioned previously, that this, this is not an instance where we want to have a disciplinary threats of disciplinary action be the trigger for police officers to attend. We, we as the Commissioner has said, recognize that there is an extra effort of police officers to commit themselves to performing the duties that they are required to do as police officers. And we want to endorse that. And the association, from its performance during that period, we have assigned liaison officers to monitor any challenges that officers will incur by way of welfare in the, in the, in the divisions where there is expected to be a high turnout from members of, of the population. So you would find liaison officers in Port of Spain, Northern Division, Southern Division, Central Division, Northeastern Division, and that, from that area, the President and myself, together with members of the Executive, will monitor that and manage that, that particular as, aspect of it. Um, apart from that, there were some issues that have been affecting the general membership, which include retention of officers who should otherwise be on, on, on leave, there are issues affecting promotion among the Special Reserve Police Officers, and there, there, there are other issues in affecting the First Division Officers in relation to promotion from the rank of ASP to Superintendent. We want to assure the members that we had a meeting with the Commissioner this week, and those matters have been ironed out to the satisfaction of the Association, and that all the issues that were affecting them that may have caused them to incur some level of frustration or disenchantment has been resolved and the ways forward in terms of there has been a mutual understanding and exactly what the members wanted has been given to them. Okay, and um, Mr. Seals? Now, I would only address you on just some, some specific items and, and specific items are in terms of what our agreement was with the Commissioner. And I think I have the Commissioner's permission to speak on some of those items. Um, one of the things that we are speaking about is the Special Reserve Officer who is critical um, to this um, events that is, will be unfolding over the carnival. Let me say to them and to be, for them to be rest assured that we have been able to secure with the commissioner that promotion will be just after carnival. I can say that categorically here now. I'm also going to say to them they can be happy that um, the commissioner will start the absorption process and training of special reserve officers from the end of March. He had given me a number of 500. Uh, more importantly, I, I want to try to twist his arm and let him go to 600. So at least we could try to get the special reserve into the regular Trinidad and Tobago police service. And I'm saying that because it's important now, because we need you to perform not with just pride, but with distinction over the carnival period, Please do not affect your, let that performance over that period affect your absorption into the police service, nor your promotion. You need to come out and not perform with pride, but perform with distinction. So that's the first appeal from the association in relation to the carnival event. The other thing that I would want to speak about is this. We would have also agreed with the commissioner that because of the use of the um, emergency response system, particularly the ERP officers, we have agreed with him that we are looking at having at least to get that wider coverage, one man in a vehicle over the period of carnival for the purpose of patrol. I'm rehatching that because I know the commissioner would have probably talked about it, but we are in agreement with him having one officer in that vehicle for patrols. What I'm going to ask is that for the basis of welfare for the officer, all I'm going to tell him he needs to be very careful. He needs to also, when he's going to respond or engage a citizen, he calls for backup if there's a requirement fit, if he has to go into any dangerous situation. 
Likewise, I'm going to ask to the public, because we have a lot of visitors here, we want you to make sure that that engagement with those officers who are working in that special arrangement, that you do not unduly delay them. Let them get back to covering the nation and providing safety and security, which is paramount for Carnival. So for the officers, we have discussed and have satisfied ourselves that the commissioner have put the necessary platforms in place so that you will get the necessary um, support. So do not be daunted or afraid to work on your own or to patrol in that capacity because it's, this is the direction the association has been clamoring for. We need to move to new techniques that are available in law enforcement and one man to a vehicle during the day and at some limited extent to the night and provi provision of support is what is being done in first world countries. So we endorse that and we support the commissioner in that regard in relation to that philosophy for over the carnival period. Please do not delay them. Please allow them to go out to do their duty because by delaying them, you can provide harm or create harm on their part because they would not be engaging you and they are be unsuspecting of persons who are bent on making problems for carnival. We know that we see that. Don't unduly delay them, engage them, and for the officers, be as polite as possible. Please follow their commands. If they say you cannot go up that street, there's a reason for that. Don't try to question or rationalize that because it only puts more problem in terms of us providing that needed security that you need. Okay, yeah. okay thank you. Just uh, um, again to add, the meetings that the Commissioner of Police and the so Police Social Welfare Association, we intend to meet monthly. Uh, every time we meet, be, it has been very constructive. I have learned a lot. They've become very instrumental in assisting me in dealing with many obstacles and things that we can fast track and we can find solutions and not problems. And there are a number of things that they did not mention as well, dealing with um, the situation of overtime, um, the concept of uh, we'll be putting on badges for all police officers where it will actually be shown with their, with their numbers highly visible and putting, actually putting a chip to be able to ensure accountability, the, dealing with the issues of sick persons on sick leave, suspension, um, polygraph testing. There was a concern with polygraph testing at the so officers at the Southwestern Peninsula it has been dealt with. I would explain that la later on. So there have been a number of different things. Uh, may I also take this opportunity to clarify a certain matter that, that, that we saw in the air recently, and it had to do with the uniform of the Trinidad Tobago Police Service. You know, unfortunately, that people will try to bury their head in the sand and not realize the concerns of what we are seeing in this country. People make claims about militarizing the police service. But I just want to show just a few, just a few examples of Camo Worldwide. This is by SWAT in the USA. The SWAT team in the USA. State, state police in the USA. Montreal police. And if you all see something, keep going please. Quebec police. Jordan. Russian. I could go on and on. We found over 70 odd. The fact of the matter is people who have never probably traveled or, or actually gone on, on, on a site, gone further than Tobago, would not have understood what happens worldwide. Police service is not just about, poli about policing on the street. At times, police officers have elite units, and sometimes they are mandated to be involved in very volatile situations. I could give you assurance, if there's a repeat of 1990, this Trinidad Tobago Police Service, if there's anything in resemblance of 1990 that took seven days to deal with, this commission of police and this Trinidad Tobago Police Service, it will not take seven days next time around. It will take seven minutes. <laughs> And that is not going to be dealt with with police officers in regular plain clothes. Yep. It will be dealt with elite units who are highly trained and who have the capability to do what is required to ensure democracy is in, in, um, maintained and the safety and security of the law-abiding citizens in this country. Pe people will have been concerned about certain things that I have done, whereby we have the situation of the red alert state. The red alert state lifted has enhanced the security of this country. I think over the last week, there have been just about three or four, three homicides, which makes an average of 180 in comparison to before the alert state when it, we were going at about 11 homicides in three days. And people were upset about it. They were concerned. People are concerned about police officers having the right to fire to protect their own lives if fired upon. Now people have concern about the combat gear by the, by the police service. If they are not aware, last year there were over 500 homicides. That is almost more, more than two every three days. In some countries, there are war zones and less persons are killed in war zones than what we have in Trinidad and Tobago. So this is a war, but this is not a war against other organizations, but criminal elements. And the Trinidad and Tobago Police Service, under my watch, we will do what is required within the law to ensure that the police officers have the best tools, the best training, the best equipment, and the proper uniform to prepare themselves for such eventuality. Certain persons, they have no interest about 
criminal elements where they're involved in the use of illegal weapons, killing people in cold blood, importing drugs and weapons, but their focus is on the Trinidad Tobago Police Service. They are trying to form conflict, but there's no conflict that you're going to get with the Commissioner of Police and the Police Social and Welfare Association. I could say in local parlance, we are all one family. Exactly. The Trinidad Tobago Police Service. We will stay together as a unity, as a unified force. What is happening is persons are trying to disrupt destabilize the organized bodies of trying to ensure law enforcement in this country. We will not let it happen. I will ask you to be the judge and to understand what is happening, where certain persons are being very mischievous, trying to find avenues to cause disharmony. They have been calling certain organizations, arms, constantly begging for their support because of their agenda. Their agenda is not to fix. Their agenda is to destroy. I give the assurance to the Trinidad Tobago public that we will not be daunted, we will not be disrupted, we will not be distracted. We will do what is required within the law to ensure the safety and security of the law-abiding citizens in this country, whilst at the same time, we will ensure the safety and security of each and every police officer, and we will do what is required. May I just finally close by asking the, the public, to, there's a, a line that my father always told me when I was young, if people step on your toe, you tell them sorry. Let us try to be, be aware and cognizant to the situation where alcohol at times can be an emotion enhancer. So let us try not to get into confrontations as much as possible. Let us try also, I ask the public, try to avoid whining on my police officers, please. <laughs> so when you go on the savannah grass, you could try to avoid, if you have to pick up something, do not pick up a police officer. And let us all work together to make this the safest carnival in the history of Trinidad and Tobago.